So each of the 3D assets that you see in this Unreal environment was fully generated using AI. That's right, I didn't download or manually create a single one of these assets. I used ChatGPT's image generation tool for the concept art and Meshi AI for the 3D models. In this video, I will walk you through how I achieved this result in just a few hours of work. So let's get started. The first step was to define the environment. I began by creating a detailed document that outlines a mystical forest scene. This entire document was generated using GPT leveraging its ability to structure and format Word documents via Python. I was able to produce a clean comprehensive asset list for everything needed to design this environment in Unreal Engine. And then I fed this document back to GPT in a new chat and asked it to create concept art of this environment and I wanted the output to be of cinematic quality. This was the first image GPT generated for us. As you can see, it has a small water stream running through the forest. While it looked great, I decided to remove that stream for this demo. Since water system requires custom materials and Niagara effects, which AI tools can't directly help us with yet. So I gave GPT a follow-up prompt to regenerate the same scene without a stream. And this second image turned out pretty close to the original, obviously without the water stream. Next, I asked ChatGPT to generate a detailed concept art of the deer and then followed up with another prompt to remove the background. Once I had this clean concept image, I saved it to my hard disk and uploaded it to my Meshi workspace. So here I'm using the image to 3D feature of Meshi. It also supports text to 3D, but obviously ChatGPT is much better with text. Meshi generated four versions of the deer. All of them looked good over here, but I selected the one that I found most interesting. The result is looking good, so I decided to test Meshi's rigging feature as well. Since it was a quadruped, I selected the quadruped dog rigging option over here. And I also manually set the control points. But unfortunately, the outcome wasn't great. I then moved over to iClone's actor core auto rig tool to try and rig the mesh from here. Here as well, I spent some time setting up the joint points. But even after all that, the deformations and animations were far from usable. Turns out I am not a rigging artist and current air tools still cannot create proper animal rigging. Then I moved on to creating some of the other models starting with the date tree and honestly Meshi gave me an excellent result over here. It captured the shape and the texture really well. I then tried building a few different types of mushrooms. These are relatively simple shapes, but these can still give an impressive quality and can bring out the highlight of your scene if properly modeled and textured. Just look at these results. Clean topology, solid form and really usable right out of the box. This is one of those areas where mesh really shines. When the models are structurally simple and clearly defined in the concept art, this works like a charm. Even the clusters of this grass turned out surprisingly well. You can drop them directly into a foliage system in Unreal and get some stunning results. Of course, for most of these assets, you will still need to retexture them, ideally using tools like Substance Painter, and then you create custom materials if you are aiming for high quality production ready output. But still think about how much time this saves. Instead of modeling everything by hand, AI is now doing most of the heavy lifting. Pretty cool, right? Just a year ago, I couldn't even imagine AI being capable of generating such accurate 3D meshes purely from text or a single image. Since I couldn't have a deer, I wanted to build a deer warrior instead, which is a humanoid form. So much easier to create the model and also rig and animate. Although the rigging feature in Meshi works really well with the humanoid form, but I still prefer to add the model back in Mixamo for auto rigging and creating animations out of it because Mixamo already has a huge library of animations. I continued generating more and more 3D meshes in Meshi that fit within our environment and honestly Meshi almost never disappoints. You can see the outputs are consistently stunning and high quality. However, the one type of asset where I noticed issues is with fully grown trees like these examples over here. Most of the time the branches and leaves end up looking disconnected from the trunk almost like they are floating. While it still works decently for background or distant props, up close the issues become pretty obvious. It's worth remembering that it is still Meshi 5 preview. I am hopeful that with the final release and especially with Meshi 6.0, these issues will completely go away. Alright, so now that I have generated and imported all the necessary assets into my Unreal Engine project, it's time to start dressing up the scene. I will start with foliage. So let me go to foliage mode. So I've got two different varieties of grasses over here. Let me add them in my foliage section. 
so i will start painting them across the landscape i will add a couple more foliage types over here including these flowers to add some varieties this already looks very cool and realistic i mean you cannot just tell that these grasses and flowers are ai generated next i added one of the central assets in this environment the arch door to complement it i created a simple spline based actor that generates static meshes in multiple rows to form stone pathways leading through the doorway it is quite basic and does not look as good as the concept art we had generated but this is going to be very useful for prototyping like this demo environment we are going to create today after that i started adding a set of trees since this is meant to be a forest scene we definitely need the trees to bring in that sense of density and depth next i began placing the props one by one starting with a set of obelisks followed by this round stone platform this large stone covered in tangled roots adds a really eerie magical vibe to this environment exactly the kind of atmosphere i'm going for i also dropped in this deer warrior character and gave him a simple idle animation just to breathe a bit of life into the scene and then i added a set of houses For this particular house, I want to lit up the window, so I added a point light. And now comes the most challenging part: setting up the lighting and the atmosphere. If you remember the concept art, you know that we are creating a nighttime environment. So apart from the directional light, we need to carefully balance the other atmospheric elements as well, starting with the skylight, and then tweaking some of the post-process settings, and finally the sky atmosphere. To lit up the scene further, I added the fire particles that comes with the starter content into the stone platform. I continued adding some of the other supporting assets that we generated from Meshi. to give this deer warrior a purpose i added a foot stall near him i kept tweaking the nighttime settings until i was finally satisfied with the overall mood and to give the scene the final touch and depth of the atmosphere i cranked up the exponential height fog enough to amplify the mystical vibe i continued adding more trees to fill out the background and make the forest feel denser i decided to revisit meshi and generate some cliff and mountain meshes I had GPT generate the concept art of a few cliffs and the results translated beautifully in Meshi. Once I had everything imported into Unreal, I began placing the cliffs one by one surrounding the main playable area and giving the scene a strong natural boundary. All right, so this is the final result so far and I think the environment has turned out pretty decent. Now of course it's not perfect and also I am not an environment artist by any means my expertise lies more in unreal programming nagra vfx materials shaders all the technical side of things environment design is actually one of my weakest areas in unreal but considering that I think it looks good enough especially as a prototype if this is the kind of environment I want to build for my game from a top down perspective it even looks close to a final result I will definitely be replacing a few assets especially these trees and retexturing most of them in substance painted and create a good quality custom materials as well but geometry wise this setup works great if you want to try out meshi for yourself check out the link in the description you can sign up and start generating amazing 3d models from just a prompt or an image also this project along with the small bit of c++ code i wrote for the road path for generation is available on my patreon if you would like to support my work consider becoming a member the link is given in the description Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome tutorials like this one and I will see you in the next video